In this video, we'll be sharing the ultimate guide to the best restaurants of Esteli, Nicaragua. We've sampled a great cross-section of delicious options from authentic Nicaraguan food, international cuisine, and even some delicious fast food options. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travelers. We're coming to you from Esteli, Nicaragua. Esteli is a must-visit foodie destination in Nicaragua. The city has an amazing range of international cuisine to choose from. Esteli is a city located in northern Nicaragua. It is known as the Diamond of the Segovia and enjoys a more temperate climate than other parts of Nicaragua due to its elevation at over 2,700 feet. It is an agricultural hub and most well known for its tobacco and cigar production. It is a progressive city and enjoys the best restaurant and cafe scene outside the capital, Managua. Esteli is home to some of the best steakhouse restaurants in Nicaragua and are a must if you love juicy steaks. We're at the Steakhouse Restaurant, Puyazos Ole, and I'm really excited. I love my beef, I love my steak, and we've got the signature dish, Puyazo. It looks like a sirloin, I think. In any case, it looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to getting into it, and we're supplementing it with flor de caña. So this is aged 18 years, and flor de caña is like, best rum in Central America, if not the world. So the rum is 18 years old. Now, what were we doing 18 years ago? I don't know. Uh, we, we weren't, we were at university. So this rum is aged 18 years. Now, what were we doing 18 years ago, John? We are at university together, but just friends. The steakhouses here have really high quality meat and we have found that they are quite expensive for Nicaragua standards. So this was 550 Cordobas. So I ordered this Classe Crayer, which is supposed to be medium rare. Yum. So beautiful, juicy, you can taste the charcoal in it as well. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's just very smooth. Good. El Asadero is another steakhouse you must try when in Esteli. It's an American style steakhouse and we love the barbecue grills at the front that look like cars. We had the Piasso here as well and it was great value at 350 Cordobas. It was an extremely generous serving size and it was covered on top with cheese. We also tried their California burger and it was an absolute monster. It came with four types of cheeses and a lot of meat. It certainly was a mouthful. We highly recommend El Asadero as a great value option for a steakhouse in Esteli. You won't need to go far to find good authentic Nicaraguan cuisine in Esteli. We recommend trying street food where you can. And if you're interested in more street food, check out our $1 street food challenge video. Here are a couple of Esteli restaurant options to consider. We're at a traditional Nicaraguan restaurant here in Esteli called El Banguan de Dona Milagros. And we've got some great options here. So we've got the sopa de frijoles, which is a bean soup. And we've also got a fish dish. So the sopa de frijoles, it's a runny kind of soup and it's got chunks of green bell pepper, tomatoes, 
frijole, beans obviously, and beef, I think. And it comes with a side of rice and a tortilla. So nice and warm, a big serving as well. And this was only around 90 Cordovas. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's got a nice saltiness to it. The soup has chicharron in it, which is like a pork rind, but it's been cooked in the soup and it's really nice and tender. It's a really good addition. It kind of reminds me of a Nicaraguan minestrone soup. It's really good. John and I have been a little bit under the weather lately, so I've been really wanting some nice, healthy soup, something that's really easy to digest and something that'll perk me up a bit. So yeah, this is really nice. We haven't had soup that much in Nicaragua, but this is one of the best soups I've had. During our time in Esteli, we stayed at Casa Viniculos. They had some of the most comfortable accommodation that we've experienced in Nicaragua and their breakfasts were equally amazing. Their downstairs cafe also serves lunch and dinner with both Nicaraguan food options as well as international dishes. The breakfasts here in Vinicula are delicious and you get five different options to choose from that are included with your room rate. So this one we've got scrambled eggs with ham and then we've got some standard options which come with all of the different food options. So it's gallo pinto, maduro, bananas, sweet bananas and then cheese and you get some coffee as well. Coffee in Nicaragua is possibly the best I've ever had and you can also get juice, so we've had some orange juice here before, which is really nice as well. The hotel that we're staying at, Casa Viniculos, has a good range of international as well as local cuisine. So we felt like eating in tonight and we got a linguine bolognese. Yep. Nice, simple, hearty food, just what I need. If you need a break from eating Nicaraguan food, then Esteli also has plenty of great international options to choose from. Some restaurants will offer a mix of different international dishes in addition to local options. Picnic Restaurant was one such example, with a mouth-watering menu that included both Argentinian and Japanese dishes. We're at Picnic Restaurant, which is on the outskirts of Esteli, and it's a really interesting combination, so it's Argentinian and Japanese. So we've got a selection of sushi, this is a dragon roll, and gyoza, and then we've got a, what is it, a puria, puyasa, puyasa which is Argentinian. It's local, anyway, it's meat, it's grilled meat, and that one comes with a few sides. So, we've got some sofa de tortilla and a salad. It's been so long since we've had gyoza, so uh, yeah, this is really good. I'm cheating here. I'm putting my dragon sushi in the gyoza sauce. I like gyoza sauce. Nice crunch. Yeah, it's nice. And wasabi. I love wasabi. So this is the puyaso parayada, and. I had to do a double check because it was so big. It is so big. Look how big the size of this. So it was 595 Cordovas. Um, so it's, it's not cheap, but this is a lot of meat and a, a lot of food. And it came with two sides as well. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Oh, 
the spices or the, the seasonings really nice and this is beautiful. Well, that was a beautiful meal. It was huge and we are feeling very full after that. We didn't realize just how much meat we were going to get, but it was really good quality. The knife just sliced through it like butter um, and it was very well cooked, like medium rare, um, just as John wanted. So that was really nice. It was pink on the inside, very tender really nicely seasoned. Oh, uh, yes. Got to have the meat here. The sushi is brilliant. Everything was just awesome. And the service was really good as well. They kept coming out and checking on us, making sure everything was fine. And yeah, I'm really happy. This is one of the best restaurants in Esteli, definitely. If not, in all of Nicaragua. We're in Casa Vecchia, which is an Italian restaurant here in Esteli and we've ordered the lasagna, as well as the Hawana, Hayo, Hayoana linguine, which is a Hawaiian linguine with pineapple and ham. So this is quite an exotic dish and something we haven't tried before. So looking forward to getting into it. And grilled pineapple. Oh, it's very nice. It's like, if you like, Hawaiian pizza, then you're gonna like this linguine. And I like Hawaiian pizza. And it comes in a white sauce as well, like a creamy sauce. This is really delicious. Yes, everything here looks and smells amazing. I love lasagna, it's a good stable favorite. Mm. It's got a really nice vegetable sauce, got a bit of Parmesan on the top and then the tomato sauce as well. And what makes this lasagna extra special is as well as the beef, it's got some shredded chicken. Comes with a bit of garlic bread and yeah, this is just a really nice lasagna. We're well, Piro's cocktail restaurant and they specialize in seafood so what we've got here is the temptations of the sea so you've got lobster you've got shrimp you've got octopus and fish as well potentially i'm not sure so it, it looks amazing and massive and this was 460 cordovas yeah so it comes with a really nice broth and I forgot that there's also ceviche in here as well, so it's a real mixture of the best seafood that you can get. Really fresh, really delicious. It's a really generous serving as well. We're in Chagul, Taqueria and Papusseria. So it sells a range of Mexican food as well as El Salvadorian food. And we're going to try out the chimichangas tonight. This is chimichangas from a Mexican restaurant called Chagul. And it looks beautiful. So it's got two different chimichangas. It's got salad and a salsa as well as a chili sauces on the side. So, mm. It's nice having some salads. The chimichangas come with some sort of white sauce on top. I think they're not actually meant to be eaten with a fork. So let's get into it with my hands. Mm. Yeah, it's great. It's stuffed with shredded chicken. It's got carrots, lots of flavor. Mm. Yeah, this is a really good choice. And it seems like the, the chef at Chagul is quite famous. So we saw a news article about him on the wall. So yeah, great Mexican food here in Esteli. We've got some Chinese food from Kung Pao Comida China here in Esteli and this is a beef and broccoli and mushrooms. 
So we haven't had much vegetables when we've been here in Esteli, so it's nice to get a bit of greenery. And it smells amazing. There's a lot of ginger in it. I love that Chinese food here gets served with fries. That's a bit of a naughty treat for me. Let's get into it. So, a bit of mm, mushroom. Yeah, mushroom's good. They taste like they're probably the canned mushrooms. Mushrooms are in pretty short supply in Nicaragua, so it's just nice to have some mushrooms. There's some capsicum there as well, or green bell pepper, I guess you call it. Broccoli's nicely cooked. It's got a bit of a crunch, but it's soft enough to chew nicely. And I'll get some beef. really nice dish. We're in restaurant Vuela Vuela, which is part of the Hotel Los Arcos here in Esteli. And we've tried something a little bit different. We've never tried this before. It's uh, chicken stuffed with shrimp. So it smells amazing, it looks really nice, and it also comes covered in garlic sauce as well, so this should be very delicious. It's nice, it's a bit of a twist on surf and turf. Comida rápida, or fast food, is very popular in Esteli. You won't need to go far to find a hot dog stand or hamburger store. Mr. Vinks was definitely one of our favourite indulgences. Mr. Vinks is a comida rápida, or fast food place here in Esteli. And tonight we're going to order the monster dog, as well as a casillo with bacon, and we're also going to try one of their smoothies. The food at Mr. Vink's was prepared right in front of our eyes and it came out really quickly. So here we've got a berry smoothie. It is absolutely delicious. And we have a casillo and bacon burger, so cheese and bacon. And yeah, it's good size, nice fresh ingredients. And then we've got a monster hot dog, which is here. It's got bacon on top. It's got fries and all sorts of other things, I think chicken. Yeah, so this looks really good. So I'm gonna tuck into the hamburger first. This is a good looking burger. Yeah. Really nice meat. It's got the cheese and bacon, good amount of sauce. Yeah, or ketchup. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Wow, this monster dog looks pretty crazy. So <laughs> you've got you've got fries, you've got bacon, you've got a hot dog somewhere in there, you've got salad in there as well. And I think that's chicken. Wow, you've got every sort of meat that you can think of. I don't know how I'm gonna attack this. Oh, it's so nice with the sauces as well, ketchup, mustard, and the crunch of the, the fries. It's quite a unique taste. I really like it. This is going to be a lot of fun to eat. Tonight we're sampling some international cuisine here in Esteli, Nicaragua. So we have a baleada from Baleadas Honduras. So baleadas are a very typical Honduras dish. It's kind of like a large tortilla and it's filled with shredded chicken as well as some avocado. It looks really nice, it comes with some pickles. And then we've got Restaurante Teriyaki, which is a Chinese restaurant here in Esteli. We got the Combo 10, which had fried rice and a sweet and sour pork. The Baleada. It's a really nice fast food. It's I think it's more of a wheat tortilla, 
really nice and large. It's about this bigger than the size of a plate, actually. I think it's got some cheese and maybe even some beans in it as well. It's going to be really filling. Mm. Yeah, it's good. So we've had Chinese takeaway from a few different cities in Nicaragua before and we've noticed that the Chinese takeaway here comes with white bread which I think soaks up the condensation in the packaging while you're bringing it home. So that's a really good idea that we don't have in Australia. Now this restaurant's supposed to specialize in fried rice, which they call arroz cantones, like Cantonese rice in Spanish, I think. And yeah, it comes with some pork and I think maybe, maybe some shrimp as well. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice. And the sweet and sour pork here is with pork ribs, which is something that I haven't had before, that combination. So it's really good. It's got a nice glaze on it. The meat's quite rich and succulent. Yeah, it's good. Then I'm a big fan of fries. So this comes with fries and it also comes with salad. I think what this shows is that Esteli is quite the upwardly mobile city with a lot of great food options and for a range of different budgets. Thanks for watching our guide to the best restaurants in Esteli. Were there any restaurants that we missed? Let us know in the comments and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more great Central America videos. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.